guys, so I'm here today with my top 10 lipsticks. Um, I'm going to go in order 10 to 1, 10 being my least favourite, 1 being my most favourite. Um, I have already pre-swatched all the colours on my hand here so that, you know, because I'm trying to keep my video short and sweet so that I can upload it from my iPad because it doesn't let me load anything above 15 minutes. So let's get into this. So... Number 10 is a lipstick from Essence. It just looks like this. It's got really cute packaging. This one is in the color 47 Prom Night. And this is a really cute pink color. I really like this color. It's like a creamy, like a, um, what do you call it? Um, shimmery, that's it. Shimmery color. So this is the pink. It's absolutely stunning pink. And it is a lighter pink than most, um, and it looks like that there. That's the pink there. It is. I mean, it's it's still pretty pigmented. Um, it's the reason why it's my least favorite is because it doesn't really have long staying power, um, and it's. I find that the color is a little bit clumpy. If that makes sense, I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, but. For $3, I think it's like $3.50 or $3.95 or something from Target. You really can't go wrong with the colour. I mean, it is a beautiful colour. I definitely will be buying more of these lipsticks because I do like them. But it's just my least favourite. But I really do like that colour. Number 9 is a CoverGirl lipstick from True Shine. It just looks like this. I have no idea how much these cost because my sister got this for me. But this one's in the color 440, it doesn't have a name, just a number. This one looks like this. It is more of like a peachy sort of, like a peachy, I don't know how you call it. Like, yeah, I'd say it's like a peachy pink sort of color. This is not one I use that much, but it is a nice color. That is the color there. So it's like, yeah, peachy sort of pinky color. Definitely do like the color though. Um, for like it is a pigmented color for what it is I mean it doesn't look as dark on as what it does in the tube but it still is fairly pigmented staying power is not too bad like it does have decent amount of time so you really can't go too wrong with that my next one is a Maybelline it is from the volume XL seduction lip plumping color and this one is in the color 520 Crimson Crush, which just looks like this. And this is number 8. I don't think I mentioned that. But this is a newer lipstick for me. Because I haven't used it that much. Well, it's not new new because I bought it a while ago, but I just don't use it that much. It is a dark sort of berry red. But it is a beautiful color. Um, Maybelline lipsticks for me, doesn't matter what... Um, collection they come from always are fantastic to go with this particular color is like a more like a berry red color so it's that one there it has fantastic pigmentation the like the color payoff when you do wear it is absolutely fantastic they smell really good as well like most lipsticks smell weird like maybe formaldehyde or something like that but this all the lipsticks smell like fruity and just really delicious and the color payoff is yeah so fantastic it's really pigmented and they have a really long staying power so Maybelline I think is probably my most favorite lipstick out of everything that I've got but like my brand I mean but yeah the number seven is this lipstick here it is a Helena Rubenstein lipstick and it is in the color 05 Wanted Shine. Now, I would like this lipstick so much more if it wasn't for the fact that, see, I bought this off eBay and when I arrived, it had got broken in shipping. Um, so that's why I don't like it as much as thing. As you can see in there, see, look, it's all broken. But I can still use it with a brush though, which is what I do do. Um, but it is a beautiful Barbie pink. This is an absolute perfect dupe for um, the Nicki Minaj MAC lipstick. Perfect dupe for that. You can get these on eBay. I've seen other YouTubers with the exact tubes of lipstick as mine, but theirs didn't break. So I'm thinking I just had a bad, you know, 
fun with it. Um, this is such a beautiful pink colour. It is this one right here. That one there. And I love it. The colour payoff is fantastic. Um, staying power is actually pretty good with this one considering I didn't pay that much for it. I think it was like a dollar something. Um, and, you know, I really can't complain too much because I didn't pay a whole heap of money for that one. But that's that one. So number six is another Maybelline Volume XL Lip Plumper one. It is in the colour 180 Very Desirable. Looks like that. And it's just one of these ones. This one I use a lot, as you can see in the tube there. This is one I wear to work. So this is like a work colour for me. Um, again, it is kind of like a berry colour. It's got like a pinky berry, berry colour. They smell so good, like edible good. That is, let's see, that is, where are we? I'm losing my thought. Oh, there we go. That is that colour right there. That is such a beautiful colour. I wear this to work, like I said. The staying power, fantastic. Pigmentation, fantastic. And it is more of a pinky red than anything. Because um, it is a bit of a red. And I don't really wear red that much either. Because red, true red just doesn't look good on me. So I, more, I wear more of these like subdued typed reds. The next one is number five, which is a Maybelline Color Sensational one, which is in this really pretty packaging. This one's a purple one. This one's in the color 445 on the Mauve. It looks like that. And that's the color. As you can see, I've used a lot because I use this for work as well. Love it. And this is kind of an odd color for me because I don't normally wear darker colors. And this is a dark mauve -y it's kind of like a brownie mauve colour and that's that one right there and it is very pigmented like the yeah the colour payoff on this is like almost identical the same as on your skin as to in the tube um, I never pay full price for Maybelline stuff even though it is a drugstore brand it's just like 20 something dollars here in Australia so I always buy mine on clearance or sale, so I never pay more than about $6 for these. So that one's definitely fantastic to wear, long um, lasting, and it's fantastic. Number four is a MAC lipstick, and it is from the Hello Kitty collection. It just looks like this. And this one is a frosted lipstick, and it's in the color Bombshell. And again, this is a color I would wear for work just looks like this super pretty it's kind of like a berry red sort of color but like a really a light berry red color so that is that color right there and it's a lot lighter than the other sort of berry reds I have and I find that I can wear that pretty much all day long without needing too many touch-ups which is why I like it um, and the color I just think is a really nice color for you know for work and the next one is number three and this is a BYS long wear lipstick looks like this this is in the color L209 baby doll and this I love for the fact that this is like the true Barbie pink color it is stunning like look at that stunning I freaking love this it's just actually I might put some on now it is such a stunning color I love 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 this color this is like I said a true Barbie pink um, I only paid I think it was five dollars for this because I got it from cosmetics plus um, and I really love this like it says it's long wearing it's not as long wearing as I'm sure they intended it to be um, but it's definitely a good color and a good lipstick it's moisturizing it like it doesn't smell bad like some do I just really really love this color and the color payoff is fantastic like that's it there and then as you saw me putting it on 
that's what it looks like. It is a fantastic, fantastic color. Love it so much. It's just absolutely adorable. So moving on to number two. This is another Maybelline color. It is in one of the color sensationals. Love the packaging. Always catches my eye, the packaging. This is in 160 Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. And this is a newer lipstick for me. I only just got this. Well, I didn't just get it. I got this a while ago, actually, but I just haven't used it that much. I've used it like once or twice. Um, but it's one of my favorite colors. Look at that. It's coming up kind of red on camera, but it is a really like bright pink fuchsia color. It is absolutely stunning. That is what the color looks like there. Like I told you, it's super dark bright, I guess you can see. And the pigmentation in this is just fantastic. It lasts for so long. Um, it's just a, such a good quality lipstick. Maybelline always are. And then my number one most favorite lipstick is my Lush lipstick. And it just looks like this. It comes in a bottle, not a tube. And this one is in the color Glamorous. And again, this is definitely a Barbie pink. Like, this is my most favorite, favorite one. And it just looks like this. Super bright. And the color payoff on this is just absolutely stunning. It is that color right there. And the thing I love about this lipstick is it is all natural, no chemicals, no artificial anything. It's handmade. And the thing I love about it is you can wear super bright like this, or you could rub it in a little bit and have a bit of more of a subdued color. And this has the most longest staying power I've ever had in any lipstick in my life. Like I can wear this all day long and only touch it up maybe like once. And I just love that. This is more expensive. This is actually the most expensive one I own. Um, this was $24.95 from Lush, but it is so fantastic. I just absolutely adore it. So that was my top 10 lipsticks. I hope you guys like it. And I would love, love, love to see a response video to this and show me what you guys ha um, have for your top 10. That'd be so fantastic. And just leave like a video response down below and I will definitely get back to everybody and thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!